Hi everyone, this is the Super Tech Channel, and with me today, I'm going to be showing you the basics of jailbreaking your iPod. Um, first, to jailbreak your iPod, you're going to want to go to a website called uh, jailbreakme.com. I'll put the link for that in the description. Basically, it's a swipe to jailbreak sort of thing, just like on your unlock screen. And it's you swipe over, and it downloads Cydia and jailbreaks your iPod. Um, just like that. It's very simple, free. Only thing I would give a warning about Jailbreak Me is sometimes it wipes everything off of your iPod, which can be a bit of a pain because then you can't get any of your music or any of your things back. So if you purchased it on the iPod, purchased any apps on the iPod, then it's impossible to get them back until you lose them, which kind of is a bit of a drag. Um, but that's pretty much it. It installs an application called Cydia, and uh, Cydia is... If you're watching this video, you probably know what Cydia is. It's a um, it's the app store for all the jailbroken applications. Um, Cydia is pretty great. It lets you search by um, or filter data by many different options. There's the uh, top applications, sec sections, changes, and um, manage as well as search. And for any of the applications I'm going to be mentioning today, um, you're gonna want to search them in the uh, search bar of Cydia. Um, so, as you can see, it does take a long time to uh, load up Cydia, and uh, that can be a bit of a drag, but it's it's pretty great. I, it's well worth the wait for letting it launch every time. Um, so, first thing I'm going to want to show you guys, besides Cydia and how to jailbreak, is an application called Categories. So, to get Categories, just like any other application, just search it in Cydia, and um, Categories... Categories is a uh, folder manager for broken jailbroken uh, apps and regular apps inside the uh, iPod Springboard. So um, this is a folder I have, and to uh, to make a folder, go to Edit up in the corner and Add, and the thing comes up where you want to name the folder. Um, I don't really need to um, make a new folder, so I'm not going to. And to add applications, you go to your new folder, click Add. It loads up all the applications on the device and just tap to add it. And then you're going to want to respring, which is right there. Respring. And um, what respringing does is it sort of it's sort of a refresh for your springboard. And your springboard, if you don't know what that is, is sort of the dock. It's the um, where you have access all your applications, um, where you access your music, all that stuff. And um, as you can see now, it's respringing. This gobbledygook over here is um the screen the screen on the ipod touch is broken and uh that's the result of that <clears throat> um next thing i'm going to show you guys is an application called winterboard um this is what a folder in categories looks like anyways so um winterboard is basically like a customization tool for a jailbroken ipod select themes and there's a bunch of themes preloaded on your ipod ipod touch and this lets you um, change things like lock screen, like what you do to unlock the device. Mine's a tap to unlock. I like that more. And, um, more than sliding, it's faster. Um, Winterboard lets you, um, change wallpaper. Like, I have a custom wallpaper here. It lets you change your overall theme. It'll change, like, um, different sort of things. It can put into, like, you can change clock font that font, all that stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. It's basically a customization tool. Um, so, so to get that, it's it's actually pre-installed, I'm pretty sure. At least when I did it, it was pre-installed in uh, the Jailbreak Me website. Um, next thing is um, Font Swap. Font Swap is pr probably one of the best applications you can get for a jailbroken device. And it basically lets you um, change the font for... Um, your iPod Touch. It lets you change all the uh, stuff. Um, clock font, all that stuff. Um, regular text font. See right here? All the applications are that font. And um, that's really cool. I really like that, being able to customize like that. Um, it also lets you change clock font. I have a um, special clock font here. It's like pixelated, I guess. Um, just lets you, helps you, lets you customize more. Um, 
from my ship. Next application is called SB settings. SB settings is also really cool. It lets you uh, manage. You just look like this. Just swipe across the top. You just go from battery bar to clock. And um, lets you manage all sorts of stuff. Lets you change the brightness right from here instead of having to go into settings, which is really awesome. Um, lets you see the processes you've got going. Let's see, see the processes you got going. I've got nothing open. Manage Wi-Fi, respring, dock, refresh, and all sorts of stuff. Let's you manage Bluetooth right from there, and that works inside of applications. Um, works inside of some, not all. I've got Dropbox here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, see, as you can see, it does not work inside of all applications, but it does work inside of most. And, um, yeah, that's SB settings, so go into City and search that. Next thing is called Backgrounder. Backgrounder is um, extremely helpful for um, here it is. Backgrounder is extremely helpful for multitasking. It is a multitasker. Um, basically, what it is, you search it in Cydia, install it, and then um, use Activator to assign a thing. Right now, I have double press to activate it, so double tap. Actually, can't do it inside of Backgrounder. Um, go into Safari. Double tap, backgrounding enabled, and it just leaps open like that really quick instead of having the normal load time. I'll show you again in Dropbox. This is how long it normally takes to open up Dropbox. If you haven't used Dropbox before, go check out my other videos. It's pretty awesome. Hit double tap it, backgrounding enabled. It exits out, and boom, you're back in really quickly. It's pretty great, especially for an application like Cydia. Um, it's awesome. It also lets you background folders. Which is cool, so you can get inside folders quicker. But um, it also does put a bit, a bit of a strain on your processor and stuff like that. And um, yeah, um, this has been the Super Tech Channel with a video on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch and what to do for jailbreaking for the first time. And uh, subscribe to my channel, um, like this video. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and bye.